We understand blockchain is a decentralized ecosystem powered by distributed ledger technology. Due to the wide array of applications of distributed ledger technologies, different organizations have developed their version of blockchain systems. They will open the door to a new global financial system that works like the internet. But each blockchain is isolated from one another. In brief, blockchains don't talk to each other. Although many improvements have been made since the very first blockchain, today they're still plagued by such issues. It's hard to share information between them. Now teams are trying to build new channels to help these networks connect to each other. Blockchain community called this the ability of interoperability. It is a communication mechanism between two or more blockchains. Lack of interoperability is among the biggest threats to the widespread adoption of cryptocurrencies around the world. Today we will investigate one of the networks that is a solution for one of the largest problems facing the blockchain community today, interoperability. Quant Network. I'm Tony from KK Technologies. To understand the Quant Network well, let's discover this blockchain that deliver interoperable ecosystems and real-world solutions that lower costs, enable new business, and mitigate risk. Different blockchains communicate with each other using distributed ledger technology and applicant programming interfaces on the Overledger API gateway. By the way, Overledger is designed as an enterprise-level solution that integrates with various distributed ledger technologies involved in business operations. And, API stands for Application Programming Interface, and they are used everywhere in the world today. They define how a developer can program an application to interact with another and process their requests and responses. Users can seamlessly interact with Quant's Overledger Distributed Ledger Technologies Gateway. The Overledger Distributed Ledger Technologies Gateway is a communications protocol that sits on top of various types of distributed ledgers. Further, the protocol is used without interacting with ledgers on an application level. The Overledger OS is the beating heart of the ecosystem. It allows users to create and access multi-chain applications, maps. Maps are made up of treaty contracts instead of smart contracts like dApps. Treaty contracts make it possible to build an application using multiple blockchains since it allows different smart contracts to interact. Let's discover a little bit more together. Quant Network is designed to allow enterprises to create stablecoins by leveraging multi-ledger tokens via several distinct types of blockchain protocols. Overledger allows multi-ledger tokens to be used by central banks, financial technology, fintech enterprises, traditional banks, marketplace platforms, and micropayment systems. Quant has the capability to facilitate the sending and receiving of funds between the Overledger network and various Quant crypto platforms and products. Unique to the Quant network, multi-DLT smart contracts facilitate complex operations across multiple distributed ledger technologies. This includes cross-chain atomic swaps and multi-ledger tokens. Like most blockchain-powered platforms, Quant features its own native utility token, known simply as Quant QNT. As a utility token, it is designed to have several functions within the Quant ecosystem. The native ERC-20 QNT token is required for any developer that wishes to build on the Overledger platform. Developers use fiat money to pay for licenses to use Quant network services. Then, Quant Treasury sets aside an amount of QNT tokens equal to the value paid by developers, which are locked for 12 months. To sum up, Quant users can connect to any type of digital ledger system, irrespective of their position. Developers, individuals and even public workers can use the network without prior programming knowledge. Cryptocurrencies are also highly volatile, so your cash can go down as well as up in the blink of an eye. As always, you should never invest in something you don't understand. What are your thoughts about Quant? Would you use or invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please tab the subscribe button.